Lone Survivor is the story of a small team of Navy SEALs that go in to hunt the known Taliban leader, Ahmed Shah. Shah killed 20 Marines last week. We let him go. 40 more will die next week. Going in with Dietz, Atchison, myself, Marcus. We have eyes on Shaw. A lot more than 10 guys. It's an army. This is Spartan 01. Mike? It's dead. Danny, you radio working? It's just Afghanistan. That's all. Why is Murphy calling out a sat phone? It's a bad spot. Let's fall back to that tree line. Wait till sundown. After being discovered by goat herders that stumbled upon the SEAL team, the four men prepare for the fight of their lives. I'm about ready to punch that time card. Do it. Lone Survivor, an autobiographical account of Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell and the story of Operation Redwings, captured readers' attention and emotions with every turn of the page, quickly becoming a New York Times bestseller. When Universal Pictures announced they were making a movie, I was skeptical because of the over-the-top and unrealistic way Hollywood likes to tell stories. While I was not disappointed with the movie version of Lone Survivor, it seems to lack some of the things the book did so well. Where is he? He's up top. What? He's up top. He got, Where? He got hit in the neck. One of the big changes between the book and the movie is the amount of time the book takes on Marcus's childhood and the lead-up into boot camp, as well as his experiences in SEAL training. A three-minute segment depicting the training taken by SEALs, while authentic and well done, didn't show how truly difficult it was and how it affected the SEALs individually. The movie's purpose is also different than the book and the facts given. When Marcus Luttrell wrote the book, his intent was to tell the story exactly as he experienced it, while the movie felt more like an attempt to sell tickets. This is clear in a couple of ways, one being at the end of the movie, when Marcus Luttrell, played by Mark Wahlberg, is thrust into one final massive battle with friendly Afghan villagers that fight off a Taliban attack, and US forces come in to save the day, none of which actually happened. Another liberty taken is to leave out Marcus running across Taliban on his escape down the mountain multiple times, the fact that Marcus Luttrell was paralyzed from the legs down, having to crawl miles, and that he never saw the helicopter get shot down. While these details do not directly impact the story, it takes away from the factual motivation of the movie. Another thing that was left out of the movie that I felt could have made it truer to the story was when Mike Murphy is yelling for Marcus to help him after being shot, and Marcus could do nothing but listen to his best friend die. It was most likely cut because of the already emotional story it told and the stomach-turning effects it would have had on the audience. Need immediate air support. Shaw killed 20 Marines last week. 20. We let him go. 20 more will die next week, 40 more the week after that. Our job is to stop Shaw. Why do these men have the right to dictate how we do our job? Details such as Shaw's real name were taken out of the book because of the classified nature of the operation. When the movie came out, Shaw was dead, so they could use his real name. Another change was in the book, Marcus claims that Mikey put the decision to kill the goat herders or let them go to a vote. While his dad claims that Mikey would have never let it be put to a vote, Universal honored both parties and had Mike Murphy say, This is not a vote. This is what we're going to do. This op is compromised. We're going to cut them loose, and we're going to make this peak. When we make this peak, you're going to get comms up. We're going to call for extract, and we're going home. Roger that, sir. Roger that. Roger. Universal Pictures' Lone Survivor, while it doesn't portray the story exactly as Marcus described it, truly shows the heroism of the men that took part in Operation Red Wings. From the most realistic firefight scene I believe has ever been produced, to the steps taken to make sure this is not only a movie but a tribute, Lone Survivor holds its own in a highly competitive market, telling a story that will live in the minds of readers and moviegoers alike. Brave men have fought and died, no them proud tradition and fear and reputation that I am bound to uphold. A part of me will forever be up on that mountain dead, as my brothers died. There is a part of me that lived because of my brothers. Because of them, I am still alive. And I can never forget that no matter how much it hurts, how dark it gets, or how far you fall. You are never out of the fight.